Hey everyone, recently one of our subscribers Ankit Singh cracked Java developer interview at TCS and he is having total 3.5 years of experience and got an interview call from Nokri. Guys, if you want to share interview experience then fill the form below in the description. I am going to share his technical interview questions with explanation what he shared with me. Okay, please make sure to subscribe to see such real interviews experience. So now let's get started. So guys, after introduction and project discussion interviewer first asked how can you make an immutable class in java this is very common question and very important question so yes we can make an immutable class in java by declaring the class as final keeping all the fields private and final not providing any setters and returning copies of mutable objects instead of originals from getters okay then guys he asked what happens if one of its fields is mutable like list or date so this is a tricky question listen carefully if a field is mutable like list or date others can still change its content from outside to keep the class truly immutable we should return a copy of the object not the original in getters and constructors okay then interviewer asked what happens if the main thread dies but other threads are still running so if the main thread dies but other non-demon threads are still running the program keeps running jvm only stops when all non-demon threads finish demon threads ends automatically when the main threads ends okay guys then he asked how would you handle a database connection failure in your code base so very important question so to handle a database connection failure we should use try catch to catch exceptions show a friendly error message maybe retry the connection and always close the connections in a finally block or use try with resources okay then interviewer asked to differentiate between hash map linked hash map and tree map 99% interviewer asked this question so guys listen very carefully so hash map stores data unordered linked hash map keeps insertion order and tree map stores data in sorted order by keys all store key value pairs but differs in ordering and performance then they ask which one would you use to maintain insertion order so to maintain uh, insertion order we should use linked hash map it remembers the order in which keys were added unlike hash map which doesn't keep any order and tree map which sorts key instead of keeping insertion order okay then guys they ask how does hash map handle collision internally so when two keys have the same hash hash map stores them in a linked list okay or a tree if too many okay it then compares keys using equals method to find or replace the correct entry then interviewer asks what happens when many keys end up in the same bucket so when many keys go to the same bucket hash map stores them in a linked list or balance tree lookup becomes slower as collision increases because it must compare each key using equals method to find the right one okay then they ask what is concurrent hash map and how it is different from a synchronized map so concurrent hash map allows multiple threads to read and write safely without locking the whole map in a synchronized map the entire map is locked for every operation making it slower in multi-threaded environments okay then here suppose you have 1 million records how would you efficiently remove duplicates so this is also very important question so to remove duplicates from 1 million records efficiently we should use a hash set it basically automatically ignores duplicates because it stores only unique elements you could add all items to a hash set then convert it back into a list okay before moving ahead guys i would like to share one important thing with you we had launched complete interview preparation kit so let me tell you this interview preparation kit has four main parts first is complete interview preparation material it is a step by step material made by me expert and mnc's interviews 99 percent of the questions asked in the interviews are covered in it second is two real enterprise client projects code and video recorded sessions are there and you can add this in your resume third is lifetime chat support here you can ask your doubts anytime fourth is referral support here we help you get Get referred to the top MNCs. Okay, so basically this material is organized as per your experience level and covers Java, Spring Boot, Spring Security, Spring Data, JPA, Kafka, Microservices, Maven, Git coding questions, Tree BPA coding questions, and many more. You can buy just a complete interview preparation material, all the full kit with project support and referrals. I have added the links in the below description. So now moving to our interview experience, guys. Then interviewer asks, what happens if you modify a list while iterating over it? So this is very important question. So if you modify a list while iterating using a for each loop 
loop java throws a concurrent modification exception to avoid this we should use an iterator and its remove method or use a copy on write array list okay then interviewer asks when would you prefer reentrant log over synchronized so use reentrant log when we need advanced control like try log fair ordering or timeouts for waiting threads okay it's preferred in complex high performance or multi threaded programs whereas synchronize is too limited or causes blocking then they ask what is the difference between wait sleep and yield method so wait releases the lock and pauses the thread until notified sleep just pauses without realizing the lock yield lets other threads run but doesn't pause it only gives a hint to the scheduler okay then interviewer asks how can you make a thread safe singleton so this is very important question again so to make a thread safe singleton we should use a double check locking with a volatile instance or use an enum or static inner class these ensures only one instance is created even in multi threaded situations okay then guys interviewer asks suppose you have three threads that must run in order t1 to t2 t2 to t3 how will you achieve that so guys to run these threads in this order we should use thread dot join so each thread waits for the previous one to finish or we should use countdown latch or sima force to control their execution sequence okay then they ask what happens if one thread throws an unchecked exception in an executor service so if a thread throws an unchecked exception in an executor service it doesn't crash other threads the exception is captured inside the future object and you can check it later using future dot get method okay then interviewer asks explain the flow when a rest request hits a spring boot controller so when a rest request hits a spring boot controller it goes through dispatcher servlet which sends it to the handler mapping then to the controller method the response is processed by view resolver or returned as json to the client then interviewer asks what is dependency injection and how does spring boot implement it this is very simple and very common question so dependency injection means giving an objects it required dependencies instead of creating them itself spring boot handles this using annotations like auto add annotation component annotation and ioc container which automatically creates and injects needed bean then interviewer asks we have two beans of the same type how will spring decide which one to inject this is very common question so if two beans have the same name type the spring throws an error unless you specify which one to use we can fix this by using primary on one bean or qualifier to tell spring exactly which bean to inject then they ask what's the difference between request scope session scope and prototype scope beans so request scope creates a new bean for each http request session scope creates one per user session and prototype makes a new bean every time it's requested unlike singleton annotation which creates only one for the whole application okay then interviewer asks how do you handle exceptions globally in spring boot so to handle exceptions globally in spring boot we should use controller advice with exception handler it catches exceptions from all controllers and lets us run, return a proper response instead of showing default error pages keeping our code cleaner and consistent okay then interviewer asks how would you return a custom error response structure so to return a custom error response uh, we should create an error response class with the fields like message status and time in exception handler annotation we should return this object inside a response entity so the client gets a clear structure json error then they ask what is transaction annotation and what happens if you call a transactional method from a non transactional one so a transactional makes a method run inside a database transaction so all operations either commit together or roll back on failure if you call a transactional method from a non transactional one in the same class the transactions won't start because spring's proxy is not used okay then they ask how do two microservices communicate with each other so two microservices communicate using rest apis via http calls message queues via rapid mq or kafka or grpc rest is simple and synchronous while messaging systems are asynchronous and help services talk without waiting for each other then interviewer asks when would you use synchronous versus asynchronous communication so uh, we should use synchronous communication when an instant response is needed like login we should use asynchronous when task take time okay like sending emails or processing orders okay so services don't block and can continue other work 
then they ask about circuit breaker pattern and how does it help so the circuit break pattern stops repeated calls to a failing services it opens a circuit after several failures preventing more calls until the service recovers this helps avoid overload and improve system stability and resilience in the end they ask two coding question group employees by department by using streams print numbers from 1 to 10 using two threads alternatively please google it you will find the solution of these two coding questions so guys this is all about tcs technical interview experience please make sure to subscribe and check the interview question kit thank you so much bye bye